which make Marx actual, but for this very reason we should criticize Marx. What do I mean by this? The problem with Marx is that precisely where he was right, he was right to such an extent that he couldn't even imagine how right he is. And that's why he... No, I will give you a simple example. You know the famous lines from Communist Manifesto that with capitalism everything solid melts into thin air, all stable forms are, uh, are dissolved and so on, all stable hierarchies and so on. But would Marx have even imagined where we are today? For Marx, sexual gender coordinates were still stable. That even that is today experienced as something fluid and so on. Or even nature itself. For Marx, nature was still, in the typical modern European way, with all its storms, wild things and so on, the stable background of our being. We humans are Promethean, uh, we uh, change things and so on. But somehow Marx still counted that nature is this vast reservoir of forces and so on is somehow strong enough to incorporate or to uh, neutralize the destructive effects of our activity. Now, as we all know, living in the era called Anthropocene and so on, you see, Marx was much more right. He should have also added in Communist Manifesto not only social forms, but even what we perceive as natural forms. Life on Earth, our gender sexual identities are much more fluid, unnatural, and so on and so on. So this, I think, compels us to think more radically, to question many presuppositions. Ah, another nasty thing I want to provoke you politically. Marx mentions in Communist Manifesto also their all old patriarchal relations are with developed capitalism are undermined, rendered fluid and so on and so on. And that's why I think with all my respect I <coughs> for transgender movement and so on, that's why I am not surprised that transgender movement is so immensely popular among great corporate figures of the United States. You remember when month before Trump was elected, I mean, this is, I think, one of the reasons why he won. The main topic of big left liberal media like New York Times and so on, what, what to do with transgender toilets? Is it two, three, is it single toilet, and so on, and so on. And uh, what made me a little bit suspicious is that all of them, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, uh, name them, all of them fanatically, even the worst capitalist, like who is now, I forgot, after Steve Jobs, the boss of Apple, Tim Cook or who, they all fully supported it. I mean, we should accept it. Yes, of course, but well, that's another topic. Transgender, me too. But uh, they are not, I claim, inherently revolutionary. They fit perfectly the dynamic of late capitalist subjectivity with this infinite plasticity and so on and so on. That's why I also have a problem.